Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe, look towards the future. 37, it's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. Come in. Forty-seven, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings, I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the Baj Al Ghazali. I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room.
Highness Omar al Ghazali. I should have. Been. Here is the name of Zayna Kazi. Sir, I understand. You can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Zana Kazim, a.k.a. the Vulture. Think about it, and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood. Twist. Yes, you are the man. How are you today, sir? Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. Won't take a second, sir. All right. Good job, sir. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. and make yourself comfortable. Hello, Mr. sir. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Have a seat, Mr. Kazim. 
Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. I don't mean to pry, but upstairs, do you by any chance know who's staying there? I, I hear it's not just the Royal Highness. So... Mr. Lund, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. What's up? Follow me. Great. Lead the way. source that the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali is keeping a secret upstairs. You don't talk much, do you? Where are you taking me? Something big must be going on since you're taking so many precautions. I'm curious, though. How do you know my name? I haven't told anyone who I was. Oh, well, I guess only time will tell. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel.
Alla dessa. How are you, sir? Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Right this way, Mr. Kazim. Yo, man. I apologize about the incident earlier downstairs. But you have to understand that we need to keep security tight, no matter who. All our guests go through the same procedure. I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the art. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Here we are. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassini, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Sir. Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Perfect. Right. We have Excuse Ingram right minute. where we want him. Just remembered something. 47, you home. know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. Stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut, if you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. I have his file here. Arthur Edwards, a sly little devil if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little worm. We want revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that, but I want you to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. This is a rabid dog that needs to be put down. 
Am I making myself clear, Mr. Kazim? Yes. Consider it done. Good. We're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, uh, one last question. I'm just curious. You're nicknamed the Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait for the perfect kill. I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. I look forward to receiving an update. Carl Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Please stay back. Time to see.
I hope you're talking That's to your daughter to give you some closure. Go on through, sir. Enjoy. Just how we like it, sir. We hope you'll enjoy the installation. something weird. I'm gonna go check it out. What was that? Hello? Jeez. Mister! You are currently trespassing! I'm taking you- Ooh, That's all you got? Come on, hit me! <clears throat>
new guard assigned a code name Pinky. I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dowood Rankin. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. This is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand, I'm mil- Military. We military men are used to- Hey, you. I have a problem. I'm supposed to meet up for duty, but they can't find my uniform. That's not my problem. Come on, I need help. You look my size. If, you, if you're off duty, couldn't I just borrow your uniform? It's my first day and I really need this gig. Good for you. Congratulations. No, it's all screwed up. They can't find my uniform. I'm begging you, man to man. Sorry, still on duty. Oh, God. This is not my day. Oh, it's Mumbai all over again. Boss? Seems pretty interesting. Oh good, you're here. I presume this is my new recruit? I was getting quite impatient. You have your credentials on you? You like what you're looking at?
Well, this all looks very promising. Yes. Good. Oh, you worked for Darwood Rangan. Hope you weren't there on the day of his tragic death. Okay. This all looks very good. Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, Shift. but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you would do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get to where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. But with a knife? No. <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's <laughs> just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt it. You cocky idiot. to do Thank with you all service. that power. I'll take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Some things you should know about me. <laughs> we got him, 47. Soon there will be no more providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. 